Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And if you'd like to know how I saved $30 and how you could possibly save more, keep on watching. Or just skip to the end, because I'll tell you, or look in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll just put it in there if you want a little quicker, not following me on the complete journey. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And I've wanted an Apple Watch for a while, but I've been waiting because I've been waiting for them to come out with the blood sugar monitoring, which I guess is still not coming out on this one, but I uh, need the incentive for my working out, so I still want to get this new one. I'm going to head to the mall right now and see if they can answer some of my questions because I've got some questions. So there's a bit of a line even to ask questions, which I was expecting, I guess. So the Apple guy I talked to was really nice. It wasn't actually that long of a wait, but uh, it's going to be a 25 minute wait in store, but I have to go to the restroom, of course. So he sent me down to Nordstrom since it's the cleanest one, which I appreciate. So I'm just noticing one of the pluses about going to the mall looking a little disheveled is that no one's mistaken me for someone actually working and no one's asked me any employee questions like, hey, where's this? Because uh, I obviously don't work at Nordstrom's. So a little irritating confusion. He told me I could just come right back up to the front, but I ended up just getting put right back into the same line again. So wasted a little time going to the bathroom, but uh, it was needed. So they sent me over to wait here at the watch table, which is awesome because I really want to try them on. I think I want the bigger one, so I want to make sure I'm not going to like bang it on edges. Just try and like, if I do, what's going to happen. And this is the smaller one. Let me try the smaller one on, banging it on edges. It's about the same. Uh, when I try them on together, there's a definite look difference. They're pretty similar, but the smaller one looks better on my smaller wrist. I like the bigger one for picture though. It's just a lot bulkier. Uh, I'm trying to decide which one I like better. Text is about the same reading text on it. Picture quality is definitely nicer on the bigger screen, but I'm really not going to use the watch for looking at pictures too much. Texting I can see if I want to bring that up, but they look about the same. Now I do want to check out the GPS on them and I want to check out wrist mobility. So, and I pretty much have the same general mobility as I have without a watch. Here's the smaller one. Let me try this on. Yeah, see, my mobility is still pretty great. I also wanted to check out some of their features. This is the decibel checker. Okay, let's check out the GPS. Okay, there we go. I did want to make sure it was adjustable. I didn't want just like a big picture. So I can read it more on a map if I'm hiking and don't have my phone with me, which is really cool. And here they are together. I'm really not sure which one I want, but I'm, I'm leaning more towards the smaller one. Now I have to pick out my wristband. They have them all together and they're not showing you the prices, but the leather ones like this are more expensive. I think it's something like an extra 49 to $100 for the leather ones. And it looks like they're just held together by magnets. But leather ones get smelly when you wash your hands. And we're in a, still in a hand washing society. I do like these rope braided ones, but they're again like 20 bucks more. The plastic ones are free, but they make me sweat too much. Also the cloth ones are free, so I think I'm gonna get a cloth for my sweating issue. I'm a sweaty beast. Look, look at this red one, you can see the light on. I don't know what makes the lights turn on. Maybe when it's doing a test? And here, let's look at some of the other watches they have. I pretty much have my heart set on that eight. So one of the main questions I had was if my company discount worked on the watches and it doesn't because it's so new. So, but I believe through Target, I can still get 5% off with my Target red card. So I think I'm just gonna buy it through Target just to get a discount. So my new plan for my discount is to buy $650 worth of gift cards, which would be 5% off that, even including tax, which is pretty cool. 
So it's kind of uh, the deal I was looking for. But before I do that, I'm gonna come over and check out their watch selection here at Target and see if they even have them here. Then maybe I don't have to go back to the mall. So I just checked and they do not have the Apple Watch 8 in. They have the SE at Target. So the snag I ran into is that you can only buy three Target gift cards at once. So I had to go through the line three times to get the amount I would need to buy my watch but I think it's gonna work and I did get the 5% off. I just put in my first $25 gift card and it looks like it's working. Well, it looks like it went through and it worked. I saved $31.25 with my 5% discount, which is less than tax, but I still like saving. So not quite as exciting as I was hoping for, but because I spent over $180 in one purchase, Target also gave me $20 back towards my Target purchases. So it's kind of like saving about $50 off of the watch, which is pretty cool, which does cover tax. So, um, I'm excited. Now let's go pick up my watch. So I'm back in the store waiting to pick up my watch. Side note, I did go to the bathroom first because I wasn't sure how long the wait would be. So, good idea. Just waiting and some more waiting. They really need a separate place to sit and wait because just standing here is pretty awkward. So finally got my watch. She was going to help me set it up in the store, but I don't have the newest update updated which is weird because I have it on auto and had it plugged in all night, but I guess my phone just hasn't gotten around to it yet. I also had to reinstall the watch app on my phone because apparently I had taken that off in the past, which <laughs> yeah, does seem like something I would do. I think the reason why my phone has not updated to the latest iOS is because there's not enough room on my phone. And it is saying that I have to delete some apps first before I can update my phone. So I'll have to do that when I get home. So it looks like the update to 16 is going to take forever. So I'm just gonna start fixing my hair and getting ready for work. I'll update you on how it goes after the update is complete. Ooh, we'll do an unboxing. All right, so I've updated my phone. Have my watch ready to unbox. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh. See if I can tilt this down more so you can see. Okay. okay. Looks like you got the watch and the band. Put this to the side. Okay, um, obviously I want to open the watch part first. It's got a little sticker with a pull here. Okay. very thick. That's how I was feeling it. Okay. Designed by Apple in California. I wonder if I got it in another state if it would still say California. I just assume they're all from California. Okay, looks like some simple instructions, which is good. Here's the charger. And what they did warn me about is it's the charger, but not the plug part of the charger. Or it's, it's the cable, not the outlet. So we got this, the charger, and let's get the watch part out. It's my little watch face. I did go with the smaller one as I said earlier, because the big one just felt way too big for my wrist. And I'll get used to the smaller screen. This little cute little pouch. Okay. Let me put the wristband on it. So the wristband also has a little tab here to pull. So I assume that's where it's opening from. 
Black Summit White Nike Sports Loop. Black and white. I wanted the dark one so it goes with my work outfit more, which is just all black. Just do it. I didn't know it would say that, but I guess it does. Oh, new stuff, new stuff. It's the wristband. I got this one instead of the plastic one because the plastic one, just waiting, wearing it for like a few minutes, I was already starting to sweat. Whereas I was hoping this would soak more of my sweat up. It kind of feels like the inside of Velcro, like not the pokey side, but the soft hook side. Oh, <laughs> and it looks like that's how it attaches itself is literally with the hooky Velcro and then you just put it on the Velcro, okay. Guess that's why it feels like Velcro. It is Velcro. Both sides. So I haven't actually read the instructions yet. I'm just, yeah. It just snaps right in. Okay. So we're going powering this up. Okay, I'll actually try and read the instructions for this. So number one, open your band box. Follow the steps to attach your band to your Apple Watch. Got it. Put on your Apple Watch and press the hold side button to turn it on. Let's fit it to my, oh, little Apple Nike watch. Cute little symbol labeling on it. And so it has all of these little Velcros on the inside to attach it. Okay, so I'm going to press the hold button. You turn it on. Okay, it looks like it's turning on. All right. Hmm. Follow the steps on the screen to set up to learn more open tips on your iPhone. Okay. Did I just turn it off? Okay. So I pressed it. It's lighting up. Waiting for it to turn on. Still waiting. Did it get bigger? No? Okay. Well, I'm waiting for it to turn on. So, because I have Verizon, it's just not allowing me to choose my own address as the emergency address. It's still only having an address like two miles out from my house. And uh, it's the only one available. So, I think I'm just, I'm clicking it. And hopefully I'll be able to change it later or I'll never have to use it. So device being activated. All right, well, it looks like I've got my watch set up to start using it, which is pretty exciting. I'll have just enough time to finish getting ready to work and head on out with my new watch and see how things go. So pretty excited about that. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you're just here for the hack about how to get the discount and you missed watching it earlier, what I did is I went to Target Bought $625 worth of gift cards. Uh, my total ended up being 622 point something, I think. So I still have about $2 left on one of the gift cards. Which one, I don't know. I'll have to go back through and see. I did save 5% by using my Target red card to buy my Apple gift cards. Which ended up, for mine, being about 100 I think mean, it was 622 I saved about $31 on money in general, and I was able to take that 5% also off of the tax of the thing, so that worked out pretty well. So I saved about 31 bucks just from using my red card, and then because I used my red card, I also got $20 to use in the future on my red card. So basically I saved about 50 bucks by using my Target red card and not going straight through Apple. So that was my little money-saving hack. Thanks for watching with me, everyone. Uh, thanks for spending your time with me figuring out how to buy and use my Apple Watch, which Verizon is not being the best, and I still need to fix some things with them. But it was quite a day. Thanks for watching again, everyone, and have a great rest of your day, or night, or morning. Bye. Whoa, the update on my iPhone just made the text like ginormous. 
And then that's Kayla, if you guys don't already know. She has the craft booth, the craft booth next to me at the craft fair every month. 